Hi everybody, we've already done a video on Ohm's Law and resistors, so now I was just going to take the next logical step in this tutorial and do resistors in series. Now first let me just explain the difference between series and parallel real quick, and it'd be more easier just to see it on paper. Resistors in series follow the flow of electrons. like so. Electrons coming out of the negative side of the battery or power source. And right back to the positive side. Okay, now parallel means just that. The resistors are parallel to each other if you look at them in the circuit. So you still have the same power source or battery. You got a circuit that goes all the way around and back and your resistors connect the two rails parallel to each other like that. But today we're going to concentrate on the series and not the parallel. I'll do a video on that one later. There's some basic rules for the series circuit. Pretty down and dirty and easy. First of all you need to find out your totals. So you need to find out your total resistance, which is RT. You need to find out your total voltage, which is ET. You need to find out your total amperage, IT. And you need to figure out your total wattage. Yeah, I'm doing good. P. Yeah, I goofed that up. Let's scratch it out. PT. Okay, resistance, voltage, and power are all the same. Okay, it's nothing more than the sum of all of the uh, the sum of the resistors in the circuit is RT. So RT equals R1 plus R2, and so on and so on. It doesn't matter whether you have two or a hundred resistors in series. It's the same thing. Your voltage is the same way. It equals your voltage after the first resistor, E1, plus your voltage after the second resistor, E2, and so on. Doesn't matter if you have 100 resistors. Amperage is the one difference in the whole series of equations here. I total equals I1 equals I2, so on and so on. Your, your uh, amperage is the same throughout the circuit. Your current always flows the same. At the beginning of the circuit, at the end of the circuit, it's going to be the same numbers. They're not cumulative. It's always the same. Now wattage is the same deal. Equals P1. My Sharpie's dying. I hope I can get through this video. Plus P2 and so on and so on. They're cumulative. You just add them up. So let me grab another piece of paper here. And we'll do a down and dirty little series circuit. Uh, it's lined up in the camera. Here we go. Now let's draw our series circuit again. And let's say we're running this off of a 12 volt battery. Now let's say this resistor is 1 ohm. Let's say this resistor is 10 ohms. I'm doing this just to make the math easy. So we need to find our totals. We need R total. We need E total. We need I total and we need P total. Now resistance, like I said, is R1 plus R2. If you're ever looking at a schematic, they just go in order. That's resistor 1, that's resistor 2. So in this case we have 10 plus 1, we have a total resistance of 11 ohms. Okay. Now your voltage total, we already know what the total voltage is. The total voltage is your source voltage. It's what's going into the circuit. It's 
12 volts. Okay, now we need to find current and power. In which case, you get out your little pie wheel, or you draw your little pie wheel. I encourage you to draw it. It will help you remember it. I mean, I've drawn it so many times that I can, I can probably do it in my sleep. And it comes in handy when you don't have a calculator or you don't have a uh, computer sitting right in front of you. So let's find I. I is E divided by R. So let's do 12 divided by 11. I'm going to do it on the calculator to make sure I get it right. 12 divided by E divided by R. 12 divided by 11 is 1.09. So let's just call it 1.1. 1.1 amps. Okay. And now power is I times E. So 1.1 times 12 volts is 13.2 watts. Easy peasy. But that's just the totals. Now there's going to be times in electronics when you're using resistors in series and you need to know the voltage and the power at each resistor. Say, for instance, if I'll get into this in another video, but if you're using it as a voltage divider, you know, there's a different voltage right there in the middle of those two resistors. You have to figure out what it is. So we're going to try to find out what R1, E1, I1, and P1. And we're also going to try to find out R2. E2, I2, and P2. Now some of these have already been given to us. We already know that R1 is 1 ohm. We already know that R2 is 10 ohms. Okay, and I, like I said, I is the same throughout the entire circuit. It never, ever changes. So I1 is, a le is, I'm sorry, yeah, 1.1. And I2 is also 1.1. I know I wrote that horribly. Oh well, you know what I'm doing, I hope. Now let's get down and dirty again. E1. E is I times R. Now we can't use our source voltage here. We've got to use the numbers that are specific to R1 and R2. So like I said, it's I times R, so it is 1.1 times 1. It's 1.1. It's Duh. So you have 1.1 volt right there after R1. Okay, now let's find power. Power is I times E. So 1.1 times 1.1 is 1.21 watts. Let me make sure I put my symbols in there. Now let's do the same thing for R2. E is I times R. So 1.1 times 10, duh. I did it, I did it on a calculator. <laughs> it was something as easy as that. It is 11 volts. It's late, you gotta forgive me. And then we need to find power, which is I times E, 1.1 times 11, which we know is 12.1. Okay. So right here after R1, we have 1.1 volts, 1.1 amps, and the power being drawn right here is 1.21 watts. Okay, now if you measure it right here after R2, it would be 11 volts at 1.1 amp, 12.1 watts. 
and now you can ch easily check all of your math using the rules that we talked about. Okay? What did we say resistance was? Resistance total is R1 plus R2. Well, 10 plus 1 is 11. We know that's right. Okay? 11 plus 1.1. The point 1 isn't going to make a difference, but it's like 12.1. That's going to happen. It's not a big deal, but it's 12. Amperage is 1.1. We know that for a fact because it has to be the same throughout the circuit. And now if we add 12.1 plus 1.21, we come up with 13.31. I'm using a scientific calculator, so it's going to be a little more with 13.2. That's well within the, the realm of possibility. So we're good there. So we know our math was right. Now let's do something a little crazier. Alrighty, like I said, let's try another series circuit here. find R total, E total, I total, P total, and then we need to find the same for all the resistors. Now let's just say that we know that this is a 120 volt circuit that draws a total of 2000 watts. Okay, so th that's all we know. You only have two variables to figure out everything. Now, this may not be I know this isn't like a real life situation. You go into a machine or a circuit, more than likely all three resistors are going to be different, but just keep that in mind. This is just for the your knowledge so we can demonstrate this. So we know that P total is 2000 watts. There we know that your power supply or your source is 120 volts. Okay, we now have two variables that we can work with. So let's find current out of that. Current is usually the first thing you want to find. It makes life a whole lot easier. And current I is P divided by E. So it is 2000 divided by 120 volts. And you come up with 16.666666 blah 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 blah. So I'm just going to say 16.67 amps. Okay. Now let's find our total resistance. R is E divided by I. So let's do 120 divided by 16.67 is 7.198, so 7.20. So now using some of the basic laws that we already know, we know that current is the same across the circuit. That never changes. So I1, I2, and I3 are all 16.67. Okay. 
We know the rules of resistance is R total is the sum of the three resistors or all the resistors added up. So to find the value of these resistors, we're just going to have to assume that they're equal. Like I said, this is where it may not be a real life scenario, but it helps you do the math. It helps you kind of figure out what we're talking about. So let's do 7.20 divided by 3, which is three resistors. Each one of these resistors is worth 2.4 ohms. So R1 is 2.4, R2 is 2.4, R3 is 2.4. Okay, now the voltage, we follow the same rules. E, e total equals E1 plus E2 plus E3. So let's uh, take 120 volts and divide it by 3. And your voltage is going to be 40, 40, and 40. And now we're going to do the same thing with the power, 2,000 watts. So 2,000 or 2 kilowatt divided by 3 equals 600, well, 666 point, 666666. Okay, so uh, let's just say 666.67. And that is going to be the same across the board. So now we know the value, all of our total values. If we were to take a multimeter and check, you know, after each resistor, you would get R1, you know, everything we found for R, E, I, and P1. If you were to check right here between R2 and R3, you would get everything from R, E, I, and P2. And if you were to check here at the end, you would get everything from REI and P3. Actually, that's not 100% true. If you were to check here behind between R1 and R2, the voltage is going to vary. Okay, that's why it's called a voltage drop. It's going to be 120 minus 40. So it's going to be 80 here, 40 here, and then 0 here, and that's if you're checking it with a multimeter. Because voltage doesn't flow, current flows. Voltage is just potential. So after each resistor, there's a drop in the total resistance. But uh, I'll get into that later because we're actually going to have to use a multimeter and a breadboard to show it to you. But uh, that's the basics of series. If you have any two variables, you can come up with an answer to a very complex circuit. Like I said, there can be 10 resistors here. You can find out what it is. Or you can, you know, I encourage you to just take a piece of paper, write a voltage, you know, several different variables of resistors on it, and then you'll be set to go. But uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Like I said, it's late and I'm kind of tired, so it may not have been very clear. I may do this video again in the future. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. You got my YouTube channel. It has my email address on it. So uh, feel free to comment or ask a question. See ya.